there's a certain ease that comes with, with criticizing things like you know, fundamentalist Christian or, or Mormonism or things like that. Um, because you, you can critique uh, not necessarily the philosophical ideas themselves, but just the absurdity of, of their notion of God. Yeah. Uh, um, and, and so to, to, to discuss the existence of, of a deity with someone like, like Jonathan it is uh, a little trickier. Um, and I'm not entirely sure how to go about it, but I think that there, I think that there are certain uh, philosophical criticisms that, that still hold. I mean, the, the Leibnizian God is not the God of, you know, William Lane Craig. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jonathan, I just want to say that we both look really into sex. <laughs> so this would make a great YouTube thing. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, we should the man that, maybe put a little on. Ambience yeah, is it is it really? We had Jasper on here. We had a few YouTube comments. That's the next stage. We'll get him in. Just well, we're gonna we're just gonna try to deal with the uh, echo if it's not too bad. Is it really bad for you guys? Or? Okay. It's bad for me. I I can't hear it actually. I'm not sure why I can't hear it. But okay. I, well, it's not that bad. It's clear over here. So uh, I guess uh, you know I think what uh, you were saying, James, is that there's a, a philosophical uh, way to talk about God that isn't as easily dismissed as the more fundamentalist or belief-based or especially Bible-based uh, versions. Um, so in other words, there's a metaphysician's God that's a little more legitimate than your average fundamentalist uh, preacher's God. Um, and I guess, you know, maybe now we can sort of segue into a discussion about what exactly God is, or, or perhaps who God is. Uh, and, and there are obviously very many ways to answer this question. Um, maybe uh, I'll, I'll, let, uh, I'll let Jonathan uh, offer, you know, what your fir- I mean, maybe you have multiple ways yourself of answering that question, but why is God a part of your worldview? And what does it mean? What sort of philosophical work does this... I mean, is it a concept? I don't even know. I'll just let you take it. Uh, you tell us. Sure. Uh, well, you know, I, I had contacted James, or, or James and I were throwing PMs back and forth, and I, I said early on that I'm not a guy that thinks... Uh, God is love, or that God is everything, or any of these kinds of things. I think I think that is woolly-minded to a fault. Uh, when I talk about God, I really can only understand it in terms of, of creation, because I recognize, and uh, I think we're going to get into conversation about infinite regression real quick, that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. But um, God, in as far as we can understand it, can be known as a creator, but anything beyond that might escape logic itself if, in fact, logic is contained to what was created. Um, anything that would precede what was created might also precede logic. I don't know. Um, so when I talk about God, I don't really have a, uh, a list of this is, you know, his height, weight, you know, his uh, favorite sex position, that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's just not there. It's... it's uh, yeah, it's, it, is, it is very ambiguous beyond that point of creation that I would propose. Um, because anything before that is, is just, I don't know, it, it almost cannot be, I'm, I'm assuming it can't be talked about, but I could be wrong in that. I don't know. Interesting. Uh, so, James, I know you have a lot of experience with a very specific uh, way of relating to this word, God, right? Um, do you think that that, that is, I mean, I'll, I'm sure you don't think that's the only way, but uh, do you think that there are any valuable ways of people uh, organizing around some conception of, of what this word might mean, or do you think that they're all basically misguided? Um, and, you know, also, I guess, uh, is, is your atheism a disbelief in a specific kind of God or in any talk of God whatsoever? Uh, I'll answer those in reverse. Okay. My atheism, uh, what I would define as my atheism, uh, is really uh, in regards to uh, the what has been demonstrated 
would be the general conception of what God is by the majority of the world's religions, right? So, so Christianity, Hinduism, Islam fall under this rubric. Um, I'm an atheist in regards to those gods. Uh, I, I cannot uh, find a really strong way to, to completely disregard a philosopher's god. Uh, so, so the kind of god that Jonathan talks about is not one that I can really say, no, absolutely not. So I would be agnostic in regards to that sort of god. Or a, 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 as yet uh, unknown or undefined god. I, I would have to remain agnostic too. So interesting. So. Okay. Um, well, before we uh, we started this debate, I found this interesting uh, quote by a German uh, theologian and mystic, a Christian mystic uh, from the 13th century. His name is Meister Eckhart, um, and it's uh, it's an example of a, a theology that we might we might we might call adaphatic as opposed to cataphatic, meaning, uh, well, I'll, I'll explain what that means afterwards, uh, after I read this. So uh, Eckhart writes, I say, if one knows anything in God and affixes any name to it, that is not God. Um, and he goes on for a while, I won't read all that, but he basically sums up by saying, we should learn not to give God any name with the idea that he had thereby sufficiently honored uh, that we had thereby sufficiently honored and magnified him, for God is above names and ineffable. Now, granted, he's calling God him there, so he's already assuming quite a bit. Um, but what do you uh, uh, back to uh, to James? What do you make of uh, a sort of a theology, a mystics theology that refuses to define God because God is ineffable and and in fact so uh, all encompassing? that it's it's just impossible to, to describe it using human words. I mean, does that resonate with you at all, or do you think that that's sort of just uh, you know, a plea to the same sorts of regressive uh, psychological delusion that all other religious uh, folks are uh, um, deluding themselves with? In, in my mind, that, that, that sort of notion of that sort of notion, uh, strikes me more as de facto atheism than really a form of, of theism. Mm. Like, what is, what is the difference between a god that is undefined, uh, that we can know nothing about, and no god? Mm. Um, well, that's, you know, that's the question, actually. I was talking to John, uh, this John, about that the other day, that basically, uh, the technical term is uh, adaphatic theology, where you say God is not this, God is not that, God is not anything that I can say. It's it's basically, or somewhat similar at least to uh, to atheism, but it's an atheism uh, in the name of God. You could almost say. Yeah, it, it, these two extremes: God, God is nothing, or God is everything. Yeah. Um, it seems to be if you. <laughs> Look at like a snake eating its own tail at that. There seems to be a point where they wrap around, mm -hmm. and yeah. that's where they can get along. And like it's it's not uh, it's not uncommon just to be at ease with a the paradox. Yes, with someone who's an atheist or someone who is very intensely seeing God as everything in every moment, mm -hmm. uh, because the that nature they're just right. it's looped around. I mean, but I mean it, it it could almost seem that at this point God becomes synonymous with like the, the universe or you know, reality or everything that there is, which a lot of metaphysicians, that's really what God, the role that God plays. But I think for you, Jonathan, uh, you talk about God as a creator. Uh, and maybe you could go into a little bit more uh, detail about what exactly that entails. Sure. Um, well, do you want to start? Um, <laughs> As, as you described it in that quotation, I would find that's a that's a crap account of God. Um, <laughs> when I said that that you can't speak about God, it's often because you try to make God into a thing, and a thing is a, a description of limitation. And if in fact there exists an omnipotent being, then it cannot be a thing. Now people jump on that and say that God is nothing. Uh, well, no. And,